Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our LED light bar kit on your Hustler Fast Track. So the light bar kit that we sell is exclusive to us. This is a kit that we designed and you can only find it through us. It is a 12 inch LED light bar, 90 watt. It is a spot flood combo, meaning that it has the, the spotlight shining out farther, but then it has the floodlights that'll light up closer to you. And this is also what they call a wide angle light. So it has the lights on the end of the light bar as well that really help open up that, that angle of light in front of you to help you be able to see better. So included in our kit, you're gonna get this LED light bar with the brackets that you need to install it, including the hardware, along with our custom made wiring harness. This is a plug and play wiring harness. There's no cutting, splicing, everything just unplugs from your original harness, plugs into this one, and then plugs into your light bar. So you don't have to do any modifications to your machine at all. And then you're also gonna get your on off toggle switch. So this is the only true bolt-on plug-and-play light bar kit that you will find for your machine if you have any of the Raptor family, including the new Raptor X's and XD's, as well as the newer style Fast Track, which how to tell if you have the new style Fast Track is if you have these two bolts right here on your machine, then it's the new style. The older style didn't have any bolts in this front cover. So if you have this style of bolt, then you'll be able to just bolt this kit right on without drilling any holes or making any modifications to your machine. We're gonna start out by installing our brackets onto the back of the light bar. If you grab your brackets and you ordered the kit for the fast track, you're gonna have two different lengths of bolts. For the fast track, we're gonna to need to use the longer bolts and the shorter bolts will not be used in this kit. You're going to install the bolt through the bracket and then when you're holding this light bar, if you have the wiring coming towards you, then the bracket is going to be installed like that with the bolt down lower on the light. And you'll see the nuts sliding around in the back of the bracket here. You just have to hold the bracket over top of them. You'll be using the Allen head screw with one washer on it. Get that started into one of the nuts. And then you can slide it over where you need to to line up with your second nut. And we want to get these just kind of finger tight, but loose enough to where we can still slide that bracket around. And then we'll install the second bracket as well. Now we need to remove the two bolts that are holding down the front of your foot pan on your fast track. These do have a nut inserted into the frame on the back side, so you don't need a wrench to hold the nut. So those nuts are riveted into the frame, so we cannot remove those, but the bolts that are installed into our light bracket now are a small enough diameter that they will slide through those nuts, and then we're going to be putting a washer and a nut onto the back side of that. So we need to get these brackets lined up the right width to slide into those holes, and then we can pull it back off and tighten down the bolts holding these brackets on. So once you've got them slid in the hole there and you've got the light somewhat centered into the bracket and then we're going to rotate the light as far back as we can, which it's still going to be pointed downwards, which is all right, but rotate it as far back as we can and make sure that the brackets are where they need to be and then we can pull it back out of there and use the Allen wrench that came in the kit to go ahead and snug those bolts down. and then we can reinstall that light back onto the machine. Then we'll be installing the flat washer and the lock washer and the nut onto the back of each of those bolts. So then we're gonna use a half inch wrench to tighten those nuts down. There isn't a whole lot of space, so the shorter of a wrench you have, the better. Then all we need to do is stick the end for our wiring harness back around the left side of the foot pan cover. Now we need to remove the fender from the control panel side of your machine, which we're going to be using a 3 8 socket to remove one bolt from the front.
And then I'm going to be using a T27 Torx bit to remove the other six bolts that are holding this fender on. The two bolts at the back of your fender here do have nuts on the bottom of them. Now we can lift this fender up and off the machine. To install the toggle switch, there's already a cutout in the metal on this control panel that is just covered up by a sticker and it's just right here. You can feel where the cutout is there. So you just need to use a, a razor knife and trim that sticker to open up that hole and then we're going to be installing the toggle switch in there. Then just press your toggle switch into the hole. Now to install our wiring harness, we just need to unplug the factory wiring harness from the back of your ignition switch and plug it into the adapter onto our wiring harness and then plug that back into the bottom of your ignition switch. Then you have the two wires that are going to be coming over here to your toggle switch and they are reversible. It doesn't matter which wire gets plugged into which terminal. Once that's all plugged in, then we can grab the other end of our wiring harness that's going to be going to the light bar and feed it down through the spot in the frame right next to your factory wiring harness and start feeding it up towards the front of your mower. To make it easier while running your harness to the front of the frame, I like to drop the deck down all the way so it's out of my way and I've got plenty of room to work. Make sure that you run the harness above your crossbars that raise your deck up and down. And then use two zip ties to secure the wiring up. I normally do one zip tie up here towards the front. Make sure that the back of your wiring harness is not going to interfere with any of the steering linkages. Once you've plugged that wiring into your light up front, feed the excess harness back up under your control panel here so that we can zip tie that up out of the way. Before we reinstall our fender, I like to make sure that the light is working. Your key must be in the on position for the light to come on. So that's it. These kits are really easy to install. There's not a whole lot to them. No special modifications that you have to do to your machine. We do sell the complete kit with the light bar, the harness, the switch, everything that you need, as well as just the harness and the switch by itself if you have your own light bar that you want to use it on. So you can find all of these items on our website. There'll be a link in the description below. We do have dealer pricing available as well. So if you're a dealer and want to be able to buy these kits in bulk, just contact us and we can get you set up as a dealer in our system. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.